after you assign the material properties or list the material properties in your uh, engineering data sources. The next step is to create a component or a model you would like to do the simulation. In this case, we need to go back to this project window. Click on this project. You'll see we have that done. Then the next, we're going to move the geometry. After you click this one, a new window will pop up. So we double click it. Wait for new window to pop up. So this is the new window we have. In this window, we either can create a model like we use to, to do that using the CAD software, or we can import the file directly from the model already been created by the CAD software. To import the software, uh, to import the CAD model, we use file. Then we have this import external geometry file. If you click on this triangle, at least different format of the CAD file can be taken by the solid edge we are using. When you actually save the file by using your CAD software, for example, Solid Edge, you need to make sure you save this as one of these format. Ideally, you better to save this one as either a step file, STEP or STP, or Solid. There's other possibilities you can save as IGS, but the first two are the one we recommended. You can see we have a list here, it's a solid edge, but somehow for this particular version I'm using is not comparable with this solid edge format. It's quite likely it's because the one we're using to create the uh, solid edge model is a student version. So the commercial version won't actually accept it. So they can't use that. So we have to actually save this one as the step file uh, in the solid edge. And then we can import it from here. If I click on this file type and try to find my file here, that's the implant I've already created using solid edge and save it as the step file so if I click on open so we have that files in uh, although it's in you haven't actually see it you have to actually click on the generate so as you can see it All right so Import it and use a generate, you will see the actual model. If you hold the wheel and move your mouse, you can see you can turn the things around. Okay? Uh, if you release your wheel and roll the wheel forward, backwards, you are zoom in and out of the model. And hold the wheel and see this. And roll the wheel and you will see the room in and out. If you hold the control key and also hold the wheel down and move your mouse, you can move the model this way. 
these are three basic operations we normally need to view the model, to change the orientation of the model, so as we can apply loads, and we can apply constraints, and we can view the, uh, the uh, results from different angles. That's it for this video.